Depending on where you live in Maine, it may feel like winter is dragging right now, but summer will be here for all of us before we know it. And there are steps you can take right now to make that time outside more enjoyable. New Center Maine's Carly Dion explains. Here in the middle of winter at Webster Park in Orono, the clippers are out, but not to just trim trees. Right now they're all snuggled up together with all their siblings and their little silk sleeping bags. State entomologist Allison Kenodi is talking about brown tail moths. She says the winter months are the best time to clip and destroy the pests from trees in your yard and neighborhood. It's normally when people start to, to notice that they are impacted by brown tail moth, it's really too late to do any control. Kenodi says the toxic hairs that shed from the caterpillars can cause poison ivy like rashes and respiratory issues if inhaled. The moths typically emerge in late May through early July, but now is the time to reduce the risk. As if you wait, they're going to be out exploring, um, looking for food, and you may not catch them all in the nest. Maine Forest Service entomologist Brittany Shapik says there are three ways to spot them. Brown tail webs are really going to be on those outer branches. They're really not going to be on those inner crotches of the tree. The moths are typically attached to clumps of one or two leaves at the ends of branches. The second indicator is the webs will typically be the size of your palm. And third, spotting their white silk which is more visible on sunny days. It's the white silk that's in those webs will actually reflect back at you and they, they shine just like a spotlight. They're very easy to pick out. Once you spot them, it's time to clip, making sure to keep your skin covered as much as possible and wearing eye protection. Shopik says each web has between 25 and 400 caterpillars in it. Yeah, so clipping just one is still going to make an immense difference. And it's important to remember to pick up the clipped branches and properly dispose of them. Kenodi prefers to destroy them in a fire or you know, if you have a friend that does maple sugaring, we're coming right on that season, throw them right into the arch and uh, have them help make the syrup. Another option is soaking the webs in soapy water for several days and then disposing them because the more you do now, the less of a problem they'll be in the spring. In Orono, Carly Dion, New Center, Maine. For more on which regions of Maine are most impacted by the outbreak of brown tail moths, you can find a link on our website and mobile app with more information. It's free on the App Store and Google Play.